Okay, this is a quick video on how to use the spell checkers in Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. Um, a lot of people will add text to one of their um, documents, and um, some people are good at spelling and some people aren't. So um, for those of you who aren't so sure about your spelling, you should always make sure you run the spell checker. Um, as my little sign says, um, for grammar, you're on your own. Um, and the reason that that's true is that, for example, if you have your word spelled correctly, like my presence um, word is spelled correctly, um, it uh, is not used correctly in this um, this document. So, uh, spell check's not going to um, check that. So, where you find the spell checker under each of these programs is under the Edit drop-down menus, where you can check the spelling. Um, it's an easy spell checker. Um, when you start the spell check, it'll tell you whether the words are in the uh, document dictionary or not. Um, if you want to change it, um, it will give you an idea of what you want to change it to. A lot of times you have to um, look for the word that you want to change it to. In this case, I'm changing words with U to words with an O, and I um, I can change that. Change that. Um, now, if it comes to a word that it does not know what to do with, like graphemes, um, uh, actually graphemes is in, um, grapheme uh, singular is in my dictionary, but graphemes plural is not, so I could add this to my um, directory. Um, when it comes to my next word, it um, which is a lelement, which is misspelled, it wants it to change it to element with a capital E, um, I would select element with a lowercase e and change that and then move on. So this is the way the spell checker in Photoshop works. So moving on to Illustrator, which tends to be many times more text heavy than Photoshop, um, you access the spell checker the same way with the edit drop down menu and I'm going to check the spelling and um, this one doesn't just take off on you, you actually say that you um, want it to start. Um, it works basically the same way. It's going to look for a word, um, give you some suggestions, let you ignore it, um, change it, change all, or add the word to the dictionary um, that is contained within Illustrator. Um, there are a couple other options. Um, it, you can find repeated words in the uncapitalized start of sentences. Um, and there's also some ignore features in Illustrator that you can use. So that's how that differs from the Photoshop spell check tool. So moving on to InDesign, which tends to be your most text heavy uh, um, document production tool in Adobe, um, you still go to edit and you check the spelling. And um, in this case, uh, it actually has a few fewer um, uh, possibilities than you have in Illustrator where you can do that um, double word check. Um, it does have the ability to add um, a particular word to a user directory um, and for example if I wanted to um, change or um, add this to my user directory I could do that and um, I could also search different parts of my document um, I can go and look for things that are case sensitive or ignore case sensitivity. Um, and I, if I go into my directory, I see that um, I've got other directory options, um, ones that I've made, um, or other language dictionaries that I could look in. Um, I also can see what um, words I have added, removed, or ignored. Um, so, so this is uh, more um, more spelling dictionary uh, capabilities than you see in the other two programs, but again that makes a little bit more sense since um, InDesign is definitely where you would tend to have a lot more text than the other two programs. Anyway, this is a comparison of spell check. Don't forget to spell check. Um, watch out for your grammar and this also does not um, look for things like no spaces after a period.